Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to transfer your Google Authenticator codes over to a new phone. So let's get started. So I did a video on how you set up Google Authenticator and uh, I thought I would show you a video on how to make the transfer if you still have your own phone. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward process uh, and you, uh, most people that are able to figure out how to set up Google Authenticator could probably transfer it to a new phone if you still have the old phone. But I thought that I would demonstrate this process. Now, uh, I'll also do another video on how to uh, set up Google Authenticator on a brand new phone if you have lost your old phone, and, and that's a little more difficult. Uh, the, the key there is uh, preparation. So uh, as I go through this particular video on how we transfer from phone to phone, I'll bring up a few uh, things on preparing yourself uh, in case you do lose your phone. So without further ado, uh, let's move over to the uh, big screen here. Okay, so uh, I've got screen sharing set up. Now this is the old phone. So this is the phone that currently has uh, a copy of Google Authenticator running on it. And as you can see, I have multiple accounts. Now as it turns out, in order to get all of these accounts transferred over to a new phone, you will have to do them one by one. That's just one of the limitations of uh, the way Google Authenticator works and security. Uh, I did another video where I did a wipe and restore and thought that I was going to be able to do it from an iTunes backup, but apparently uh, that only works if you're restoring to the exact same phone that you wiped, uh, the same device, so to speak. Uh, I went out and got a new phone and did a restore from backup uh, from iTunes and I had a blank copy of Authenticator on there. So uh, this is the way you're going to have to do uh, your Authenticator. So let's get started. I've already, uh, on the new phone, I already have the uh, my Google account, my main Google account, but I have not done uh, my daughter's. So uh, let's give that a try. And we're going to uh, log into Gmail. Now that this is my Gmail account, I want to uh, switch over uh, to my daughter's Gmail account. And her password, I'll enter her password, her code. All right, well, it let me in. All right, so it didn't require me to enter the password, I guess because I had this for whatever reason. Uh, it must have recognized this machine. Uh, if it were a brand new machine that had never had uh, signed into this account, we would have it needed the uh, two-factor authentication just to get access to the account. In this case, we don't. So uh, we go over here to settings in Gmail and okay. All right, so uh, we go over here to uh, accounts and import and change account settings. We go to other Google account settings. There may be a quicker way to get to this, I'm not sure. Uh, and so we want sign in and security. And we want to scroll down here to two step verification. Now it has been, it's on, it's been enabled. And it's asking us to sign into the account again. Now here we are. We want to change the phone, okay? So uh, we're going to click change phone and it wants uh, Google Authenticator uh, from an iPhone. I'm using an iPhone, you may be using. And then it wants me to uh, scan it with the new phone. Okay, so now we're at the interface. This is the new phone, and this is the phone that I'd like to add this particular Google Authenticator account to. So I just enter a Google Authenticator, and as you can see, I only have the one account set up so far. This is gonna be a bit of a laborious process, but you will uh, have to get through this uh, if you need to move your Google Authenticator to a new phone. So I'm going to add a new account and I'm going to choose a scan barcode and give access to the camera and it scan the barcode. And then we'll choose next 
and it wants that code that we just scanned. So there it is. Well, you can't see it, but it's 260084. So that is the uh, verification that needs to be done in order to move this email account. Uh, the two-factor authentication for this email account is now moved on to the phone, the new phone. Okay, so you'll notice uh, when I, I was able to sign into this account from my browser because I had signed into it before. So I did not need the two-factor authentication to uh, get access to the account. And then uh, when I went into the settings, the only additional step it needed was the password. I had to re-enter the password for the account to get to these two-step settings. And when I chose ch change phone, it just had me scan from the new phone and added it over. Now that is basically going to disable the old phone. So if I were trying to gain access to this account and it asked me to enter a code, the code generated by the old phone would no longer work. Okay. Now in that case, I didn't really need to enter a code for the old phone because I already had access to this account. But let's try uh, a different type of account and see uh, how that works. We're going to do Coinbase. Those of you who are into cryptocurrency most likely have used Coinbase. Uh, and if you have not enabled two-factor authentication, I highly recommend it. But uh, let's just assume that uh, we need to switch over. Okay. So we'll uh, go over here to Coinbase and we'll choose Sign In and I, I have a test account here so I'm gonna sign in now here it's asking me for the old code now in this case I have the old phone this is not the uh, <laughs> the scenario where we've lost the old phone <clears throat> so I go over to here to authenticator I need to go down and find that particular account that we're interested in it's a uh, coinbase uh, crypto dad test 2 account so uh, there's the code there. And just go verify. Oh, okay, so that gives us access to the account. All right. And so now what we need to do is go over here to settings and uh, security. Uh, now that we've gained access to the account using the old phone's Google Authenticator, we can regenerate a secret key and then scan it with the new phone and that will switch over the code to the new phone. So let's give that a try. Okay, so the idea here is that we're going to uh, regenerate the secret key and this time we'll use the new phone. Oops. Ah, okay, so it does need the old phone. Uh, I'm just gonna go, bef instead of switching between them, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the old phone. Oops. Jeez. So here we are using the old phone's key in order to generate a brand new one. All right. And then I'm going to take the new phone, launch Google Authenticator, and then I'm going to click, uh, tap the uh, plus up here and choose scan barcode. And I'm going to scan that code there. And you'll see there that it's been added to uh, my Google Authenticator on the brand on the new phone. So uh, from now from now on, uh, I can use this new phone to log into my uh, Coinbase account. Uh, whenever it needs the two-factor authentication code, I'll use the new phone. Uh, keep in mind that this disables the code on the old phones. So if you try to access uh, this account using the old code, it won't won't work. Now, I should also point out at this point that uh, this, this code up here is your backup code. This code will come in uh, to play uh, when we've lost the old phone. So if we've made note of this secret code, put it in a text document or printed it out on a piece of paper and uh, hidden it in a very safe and secure location, we can use this code to uh, enable uh, two-factor authentication on a brand new phone using Google Authenticator. Very similar uh, to what I just did, only uh, in that case you, you'll be working from this backup code as opposed to having the phone uh, generate the code. So you don't definitely don't want to reveal this code to anybody because 
it can be used from uh, any phone can uh, activate itself with a Google Authenticator uh, to access this account. So we want to keep this uh, very safe and secure. So uh, that's the one thing that I'll point out in this situation. <clears throat> Coinbase had the uh, regenerate secret key, which allowed us to uh, activate a new uh, Google Authenticator account using a new phone. Not all uh, cryptocurrency accounts have this feature. So let's take a look at one that does not have this feature. So we enter the pass the, the username and password, we choose login, we go through this little puzzle phase. All right. And it's going to want the Google Authenticator code. Now this is the code from the old phone. So once again, we're assuming at this point that we have the old phone, we're just transferring to a new phone. All right, so I'll just pull up that account and enter the code. All right, so now uh, that we've gained access to the account using the Google Authenticator on the old phone, uh, we need to go over here to our settings, uh, account settings and down here to Google Authentication. So what we need to do is disable. And it wants the login password. And the Google Authenticator code from the old phone, which we'll enter here. And once we've satisfied that, uh, we now have a uh, Google Authenticator uh, now is disabled on the account. And so that is basically the only way to transfer to a new phone is basically we're just going to uh, disable authentication using the old phone. And once we've done that, we just uh, right away will re-enable using the new phone. So uh, we just go back here. I'm going to screen share again with you. Ready to go. I'm going to uh, choose Google Authenticator. So uh, I have the app installed, as you can see, on the new phone. So we'll just go to the next step. And it just wants us to uh, scan that code. So we go to our Authenticator. We hit a plus. We choose Scan Barcode. And then uh, we just lift the phone up to the screen of the computer and scan that code. And there you go. Uh, it's been added to the new phone. So now this new phone uh, will be able to access the uh, Google Authenticator code uh, for this account now too. And notice that this account also has a, a secret code that can be saved and on in a text file or printed out on a piece of paper. And you would use this code uh, to set up a new account on the Google Authenticator should you lose the old phone. Uh, I won't go too much into that, but you would just hit the plus, and instead of hitting barcode, we would just choose manual entry, and then you have the uh, option of uh, naming the account, whatever you want to name it, and then entering that key there into the lower field, and tapping check, and then you'll have, uh, just like we did here, it'll be added down here, and it will start generating codes for you. And that's it, pretty much. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Click that little thumbs up icon down at the bottom. Uh, if you like my videos and would like to uh, continue to watch and support my channel, I encourage you to subscribe. And you can also click the little bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to be alerted whenever I post a new video. So hope to see you again and thanks for watching.